Hey guys, it's Becca here with Becca's Easy Recipes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn just a regular old cake box mix into a bakery style cake. And, um, sorry guys, <laughs> my dog wants to play with her toys. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to preheat my oven. Yeah. Let's see if I can get you on there. Okay, sorry guys, I don't know what happened. Camera quit, so let's get back to it. So I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350. And so we got that preheating. Um, okay, now I'm going to get my whisk and attach it to my stand mixer here. I know y'all want to see this stuff, huh? Okay. Okay, I got it in there. I'm going to get my pan and I'm going to spray it. My husband really likes these little love pans here. So I'm going to make my little cakes into in this pan. And I have some Baker's Joy here that has um, flour in the mix. So I'm going to spray my pan with this. Uh, hold on, guys. With this here mix. My yellow, my yellow box cake mix. I'm using Pillsbury only because it was on sale. But I normally use the Duncan Hine. I just like it, I don't know why. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the directions. Like it says, you know, one cup of water, half cup butter, and three eggs. But we're gonna alter this a little bit. So, we're gonna dump our cake mix into our bowl and I'll show you here I'm doing a, a cake because my husband asked me to make him one. So, uh, I'm gonna make him a, it's kind of like, I believe this hot chocolate, but I'm gonna do it in cake form. <coughs> and so I got my cake mix in here. It calls for three eggs. We're gonna put five. So five whole eggs. Oh, <laughs> I busted it all the way. See, this is why you should use a cup when you're um, cracking eggs. <laughs> wow. Hold on, folks. I got a mess. Mm. 
You. Never wash my hands. Okay, so that was um, just the yolk, unfortunately, going into there. That's all right. So I'm going to add the other two eggs. Okay, now we got the eggs in there. So it calls for half a cup of oil. So we're going to melt this butter down, which is two sticks of butter, and it equals one cup. So it calls for half a cup of oil, so we're going to double that and put one cup of melted butter. And I, I like the Kerrygold butter. Um, you can use whatever butter you got on hand. But that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to put it in here. Now that I got that all worked out, I'm going to throw it in the microwave and we're going to melt it. And I'm doing it for about 30 seconds. It may not take that long, but yeah. We'll just keep an eye on it. <laughs> Daisy, my dog, has got a little SpongeBob that uh, she absolutely loves playing with. Nope. Still need another about 15 seconds. And so, yeah, I'm always kicking her. SpongeBob around and she just chases it and chases it. All her other toys she done chewed up so I had to throw them away. Okay, like this I'm gonna stir it up see if I can get it the rest of the way melted. We're going to pour that in there. I'm going to get all that luscious goodness out of there. Okay, now we're going to use the same cup. And it calls for one cup of water, so we're going to put one cup of milk. And I just used the regular whole vitamin D milk. Okay, we're going to dump that right in. Okay, now I'm going to make this, um, like I said, 
kind of like an abuelita's cake. Um, except I'm not adding cornmeal. I'm just going to add a little bit of cinnamon. And I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to add some chocolate chips. Scrape the sides. Just want to get all that goodness in there. Man, this smells so good already. And get all that cinnamon into our mixture. Turn it back on. I'm gonna get it nice and incorporated in there. Okay, now I'm gonna add some chocolate chips. You can add however much chocolate chips you want to. Um, I'll probably do like a cup in total, but half and half, you know, and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Okay. this up here. Take our disc off. Okay. Now, move this bad boy back. And Make some space here for a little pan, and I'm going to add some of my batter to my pan. This will probably do two batches of this specific pan here. Because they're going to turn into like little loaves, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have more than enough for another pan. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna add some chocolate chips to the top of it. Just like this. This is what I mean by uh, 
adding a cup in total because I'm going to add some to the top of these little mini loaves. And I've never made like this kind of cake, you know, uh, with the cinnamon and chocolate. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one, right? So, it should be good. We will taste test it later on. I'm sorry guys, the noise you heard in the background was my husband coming home from work. Him and the crew. Like I said, you can add as much as you want to. I love chocolate. And I love cinnamon. And for those of you who don't know, Abuelita's hot chocolate is like a Mexican hot chocolate. And it is so good. So these are going to go into the oven. And... Um, may take about... 20 minutes if that because they're in smaller pans you know so um we'll check those with a skewer when it gets close to time and i will get back with you guys so till then okay guys i'm back and it's that time i just checked them so it's time to pull them out holy moly there's like outside in there Look at those. Okay, so we're gonna have to let this cool for a few minutes so that I can take them out and put them on the cooling rack so they can finish cooling. And then uh, I'll get back to y'all on the glaze I'm gonna make for them. So, see you soon. Okay guys, I'm back. The, uh, Little mini cakes have cooled just a little bit. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the drizzle for them. I got my little cup here, only cause it has a little pour spout, so it'll be a little bit easier to handle. I have some powdered sugar here. And I'm going to put like a whole cup of powdered sugar because I'm, I have other cakes that I'm going to throw in the oven. I have a little bit of my homemade vanilla. And I'll probably put just like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I got some cinnamon. And some leche, some milk. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. So you probably want to do like a tablespoon at a time. We're just going to mix it all up. And depending on how thick you want it, um, you can either leave it with just a tablespoon of milk or you can add more to thin it out. I'm going to add a little more because I want it kind of thin. And like, seriously, it just takes just a hair bit of milk. <laughs> It's 
you see? What a beauty that is. Okay. Now, to get our little cakes, I have them on my cooling rack. And aren't they just the cutest? <laughs> so, some of them fluffed up a little more than others. And they're so like delicate. Okay, give it one last good stir. And I'm just gonna drizzle some of this across the top like that. Can y'all see it? I don't think you can. There we go, is that better? Yeah, way better. Y'all should have said something. <laughs> you see, a little bit of icing goes a long way. You don't have to, like, cake it on there. You know, my husband, he's not the biggest fan of icing, so I usually just do a little bit at a time. And if I want more on mine, I can add some more on mine, but Look how yummy this looks, y'all. Okay, I'm put my milk up. And, I want y'all to see. Ta-da! Look it. <whistles> yummy. Now I'm gonna call over the biggest critic. <laughs> Babe, come taste some. <laughs> this dude right here that's coming is so freaking hot. Can't, can't even tell you. Don't let her lie to you. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting okay. this, I've been waiting for this all morning. Just got off work? Ready. Sweets from a sweet. Let me, wait, 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 we gotta cherish it. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Mm. Mm. She's always good. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, honey. Love you more. <laughs> Man. It's like so moist and it's got a great cinnamon flavor and the chocolate chips just kick it up a notch. Man, y'all gotta try this. It is the sh bomb. <laughs> so, let me do one more bite, y'all. Mmm. Yep. I'm gonna wash my hands. It is so good. <laughs> so, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Come on, help a girl out. And just remember, you guys, I love you. I really do. And remember, you're smart, you're beautiful, and you're everything God made you to be. And don't let anybody tell you any different. Because you matter. So, just wanted y'all to know that. So until next time, bye.